Hey guys, it is Tyler here, back once again with another episode in the Assassin's Creed Origins Countdown series. We are now at the number two thing. We're top two right now. Which means, as well, ladies and gentlemen, we are only six goddamn days away from the release of Assassin's Creed Origins. I've just finished university yesterday, handed my last assignments, so I'm a free man, and Origins comes out next week. This is destiny, ladies and gentlemen. This is destiny. So, here we are. The number two thing I'm excited about in Assassin's Creed Origins, which is the massive open world. Now, when I heard about what they were trying to do with this map and then I saw it, I couldn't believe it. How enormous it is that they're going for the scale of something the size of the Black Flag map, but all land. That's right, your land. With, I mean, there's like a lake and shit, but like, you know what I mean? Like, I can't believe how massive this thing is and the diversity of with cities involved in the seamlessness god i can't believe i said that word Ugh. but you know when playing black flag and they had to you know separate the cities with loading screens you understood it but you kind of sat there thinking imagine if there was no loading screens and you just sailed into the port of havana or kingston like that would have been incredible but you knew that's where they were going eventually when the technology was right and here we are in an area where they've built the whole country of Egypt. You've got the deserts, you've got all these amazing historical locations inside it with cities that you can just walk right into. It, it's truly incredible and it's what we've been waiting for in Assassin's Creed for just so, 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 so long. And in this setting, with this open world, the size it is, it's it's perfect, right? It's It's perfect. And especially in this time period where there is, you know, greenery, it's not just, you know, sand, right? Obviously there's a lot of sand, so much sand. But there's also greenery right at this period of time to up the Nile River and stuff like that. So you've got these interesting and exotic locations with these historical settings and uh, locations. You've got the pyramids, Alexandria, Memphis, and all the small villages in between, plus deserts with side activities inside of it and tombs and all this sorts of stuff within it just to have something that massive and something to kind of endlessly explore but something you can have a character like Sinu where you can just you know go up to your eagle and just fly through it and just admire it as well if you want like just seeing some of the gameplay I wish I was playing it because I'm like I want to just look around as like someone's riding a horse I'm like oh look over there what's there but when you're watching just gameplay they're just doing what they're doing and it annoys me because I'm like look over at the pyramids or look over here that looks cool I want to see what it looks like you've got things like natural weather systems with sandstorms in it you've got the the day and night cycle to it all and the way the world just keeps moving and you've got the world the way it works between just a naval sort of gameplay where you've got plenty of just boats and ships and, and and you know fishing people and just all these people with different jobs and things to do in it that are going on whether it be land or on sea and the way it all connects and everyone's doing something the way they've built this open world it isn't just like how enormous it is but it's what they've put inside of it right they've filled it with just unique locations they've filled it with cities and different environments, weather systems, with, you know, AI, with different, you know, jobs they're doing and different roles they've got to play and the animals and the ambient music, like, that all comes into play with how big you've built that open world. And it truly is an incredible sight to see. And for me, I'm a big explorer when it comes to playing RPGs, so it's up there because all I sit here when I watch gameplay of Assassin's Creed Origins is thinking, I just want to explore. And I am beyond, beyond, beyond excited to explore this massive open world and just see what's inside it, discover cool things that we haven't even seen within any of this gameplay footage that's being released. So, ladies and gentlemen, I don't really have any more to say in my admiration for the massive open world in Assassin's Creed Origins. Now it's just six days of waiting until I can explore it myself. So, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your opinions of the massive open world in Assassin's Creed Origins, and please like this video, and subscribe to the channel if you're new, and as well, I don't run any ads here on this channel, so if you feel like supporting me, my channel, and James's channel, Lasers, that guy, uh, just head over to patreon.com slash as always, where we do podcasting and exclusive content over there that you can enjoy, plus bonus perks, depending on what your patronage is, 
But if not, that's cool too. Just enjoy this ad-free video content, and I'll see you guys very soon for the number one thing I'm excited about in Assassin's Creed Origins in a couple of days. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.